Hi, today we are going to go back to our Midwest region packet and we are reading the part about products and natural resources. So if you can find that and then uh, let's start with the questions. Let's go over the products and natural resources questions that you can see on my screen. We'll discuss those, we'll read the article and then go back to the questions again. Okay, so products and natural resources, these are the before and after questions, again, like we had in the other sections. I will read those. And what do you think before we read the article? So you'll just fill out the column that says before. First one, the Great Plains are covered with some of the best soil on earth. What do you think, true or false? No right or wrong answer. What do you think though before reading the article? Number two, the Midwest region is known as America's cereal bowl. Have you ever heard of that term? Hmm, what do you think before we read? Is that true or false? And number three, much of the steel used to produce cans and trucks comes from the Midwest region. True or false? What do you think before reading? Okay, then I'm gonna scroll and we will look at the questions on the next page. So if you could flip over until you are at the same page that you see on the screen, and this is still on products and natural resources, why is soil the most important, or let's see, why is soil the most important resource in the Midwest? So let's think about these uh, potential answers at, uh, while we're reading so we um, we have a better understanding or where we can go back and look in the text when answering these. Again, that one is, why is soil the most important region or resource, I'm sorry, in the Midwest? Number two, why is Detroit nicknamed Motown? So we'll listen for these some of these key words as we're reading so we know where to go back and look. And three, what are the three belts in Michigan? What are the three belts in Michigan? Okay, now we have an idea of what we're listening for, especially. Okay, let me go to the article. If you could find that um, page that starts off with products and natural resources at the top, There we go. Okay. Products and natural resources. Soil is the most important resource in the Midwest region. The Central Plains are covered with some of the best soil on earth. There are many farms in the Midwest region. Iowa has so much fertile soil that farms cover almost every inch of the state. The Midwest region has three main areas or belts. These belts contain certain types of crops. The areas are the corn belt, the wheat belt, and the dairy belt. Now I will read under each of those uh, pictures here. We've got the first one on the left, looks like corn husks. You will find the corn belt in the central plains once the corn is harvested, it is used for different products. Corn syrup is used in ice cream. Glue, soap, and paint also use corn. The most important use for corn is food. We eat corn that is frozen and in cans. Corn on the cob is a favorite summertime food. Okay, then that middle column, that's a picture of a bunch of wheat in a field. The wheat belt in the Great Plains produces most of the wheat in the US. Wheat is ground into flour. Flour is turned into products like pasta, cakes, cereal, and bread, giving the regions the nickname, the America's bread basket. Battle Creek, Michigan produces most of the breakfast cereal in the country. And then the last picture on the right looks like a farm and I see cows. 
grass grows quickly in the dairy belt. The northern grasslands in Wisconsin, Michigan, and Minnesota are ideal for raising dairy cows. The tall grass is cut and dried into hay. The hay is used to feed cattle. Dairy cows in the Midwest produce much of our milk, butter, and cheese. Wisconsin produces more cheese than anywhere in the U.S. And scroll down a little bit. Okay, so now we'll start um, on that first paragraph on this page. Other farms in the Midwest raise livestock. Livestock are animals raised on farms such as cattle, hogs, and chickens. The livestock is raised for meat. Meat packing plants are an important industry in the Midwest. These plants prepare the meat so that it can be sold in supermarkets. The Midwest has large deposits of iron ore. Steel mills change the iron ore into steel. Much of the steel produced in the Midwest region is used to make cars, trucks, cars and trucks. Detroit, Michigan is called the Motor City or Motown for short because it is a, the center for the automobile industry. Ford, Chrysler, and General Motors are all made cars in Detroit. Ford, Chrysler, and General Motors all made cars in Detroit. In Detroit. I think that concludes the uh, products and natural resources. Yep, that's it. Let's go back to the questions and see if we have now a better understanding after reading that. So if you could go back to the packet and then we'll read those before and after questions first. The Great Plains are covered with, with some of the best soil on earth. Now, after we read, do you think that's true or false? Compared to your before answer, now that we read after, what do you think? Number two, the Midwest region is known as America's cereal bowl. Does it say cereal bowl? What do you think about that, true or false? Was it called a cereal bowl or something else? And number three, much of the steel used to produce cars and trucks comes from the Midwest region. True or false there? Again, please feel free to pause at any time if I'm going too quickly or you need a little more time. Okay, now let's go to the three questions and see how we do on these after we read. Number one, why is soil the most important resource in the Midwest? Why is soil the most important resource in the Midwest? Feel free to put me on pause and go take a look back in that on that one page. See if you can find that an answer to that question. And number two, why is Detroit named Motown? Why is Detroit nicknamed Motown? Go ahead and pause to complete that and then you can unpause when you're finished. Number three, what are the three belts in the Midwest? What are the three belts in the Midwest? Okay, take your time and feel, please go back and look at that one page, those answers are going to be found just on the one page that we read on products and natural resources. Some of them might be underneath those illustrations, those pictures, um, and others may be in those uh, three paragraphs. Okay, and then that concludes this portion of the packet on the products and natural resources.